um, it's lovely. I love antiques, I love history, and it's just a beautiful place that's been beautifully restored. Ever since I was a little kid, I remember this place. Raised in Quincy, Susie Moore is glad to see the John Wood Mansion is still where she remembers it. It could have been torn down or destroyed or nobody cared about it, you know, and so it has lots of love and um, I enjoy coming. Unlike past mansion tours, tour attendees were treated to traditional holiday decorations in the candlelit mansion. Right, well, this is uh, the way it would have been, you know, 180 years ago when John Wood was living here. And they would have lived by candlelight in fireplaces, so... It has a lot more ambiance, a lot more atmosphere to it. Visitors also got to see a piece of history, something that has rarely been available to the viewing public. The dollhouse was made for, I believe her name was Laura. A 140-year-old dollhouse built by a carriage maker from Quincy to give to his daughter. Everything in it is handmade because it is a look into both childhood toys and what was like, what life was like 140 years ago in, in Quincy. During the candlelit tours, visitors got a chance to listen to the time period's music, also being met by tour guides dressed in traditional clothing. Susie Moore says she enjoyed her time during the tour and seeing the faces of children, eager to learn more about the home she remembers as a kid. Great. I'm really happy to see parents that care enough to bring their kids to see what it might have been like way back when.